all heroes wear capes. Some protect the neighborhoods of mid-Michigan, while others care for the world's largest comic book collection at Michigan State University. Either way, with great power comes great responsibility. It says to Randy Stanley, 75. Meet Randall Scott. And I was five years old when this came out, and man, this was exciting stuff. I learned to read on these. He's the comic book bibliographer responsible for the rows and rows of comic books in the basement of Michigan State University's main library. Sometimes people ask me if I've read them all. You know that? The answer is nope. <laughs> but for at least 45 years, I opened every single one and figured out what it was about. The collection started with 6,000 comics donated by an MSU professor named Russell Nye in the 1960s. But since then... I've been begging for gifts and begging for money to buy stuff, and now we're out at about 350,000 comics. Scott is the collection's unsung hero. This is his life's work. Almost 50 years, I've been the one who uh, chooses the comics for the comics collection, who catalogs them so that they're in the uh, computer so that people can find them. And uh, I uh, supervise the shelving. See all these shelves around us? They don't just accidentally happen. These shelves hold works from as early as the 1800s all the way to 2021. The collection houses comics from every continent except Antarctica and has household names like Batman, Spider-Man, and Superman. This collection means a lot to me and I sort of take it personally or took it personally for the last 50 years. And uh, when I decided it was my goal in life, it was because there was no collection like this anywhere. The collection is more than a bragging right for the university. Instruction and outreach librarian Ruth Ann Jones has used the books to teach her students. I um, had each student compare two comics like this, and then they compared it to something like Mouse or Barefoot Jen or another memoir about actually being in a war, actually suffering the violence of a war. Jones likes to incorporate comic books in her lessons because they allow for many different voices to be heard. We have a huge collection of LGBTQ plus comics. We have comics by many different um, creators of color. So comics are not just entertainment, they are a very diverse diverse expression of many different voices. Comics are more than just colorful pictures on pages. There is always a lesson to be learned and a way to teach on past hardships to make a better future. For now, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Yasmin Ludi, Fox 47 News.